Hey guys, Rick Queen here with a video that several of you guys have been asking for. It is a Guardians of the Galaxy comparison from the original 2014 Milano to the new 2017 Milano. And I will get to that in just a second. But first, I do kind of have an announcement to share with you guys, uh, or kind of like an update, uh, just to let you guys know. Um, Brick Titan, who you haven't seen a whole lot lately, some of you have been asking where he's at. He's actually working on his own channel a little bit more now. Um, he is doing animated minifigure builds, and I think they look awesome. He's also taking requests. If anybody has uh, any particular minifigures you want to see, just go to his channel and uh, comment on one of his videos and let him know what you want to see. Uh, he's working on some of the Lego Batman movie minifigures right now, and I think he's getting ready to start on uh, some Guardians of the Galaxy figures, which I think is cool. From what I've seen of what he's been doing so far, it looks absolutely awesome. So please go check that out. The link is in the description to go to his channel. Uh, and now, let's get back to our Milano comparison. So here are the two different versions of the Milano spaceship side by side. Of course, this one over here is the one from 2014. It is from the original Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And this one over here is the brand new one that just came out of 2017. This is based on the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 movie. Uh, so it, it could be an enhanced version of it, I would think. Um, actually, I think at the end of the first one, they kind of had to rebuild it or build them a new one. Because uh, I think it got destroyed in the first one. It's been a while since I saw the first movie, but that's that's what I'm recalling in my head. You can let me know if I'm wrong or if you remember more of the details. Just let me know in the comments. Um, I am super looking forward to seeing the new movie. I think it is going to be awesome. Um, and of course, we've added more people to the Guardians of the Galaxy team, which is going to be very interesting, I think. Uh, but anyway, so the two different Milanos. I think the, the well, there's two big things that you notice right off the bat. First is the size difference, which I guess I had kind of forgotten um, how much bigger the original one was because I haven't, uh, it's been, you know, put away for so long I haven't looked at it. I guess I forgot how big this set was uh, because if you, you kind of set it up like that, you can kind of see um, <laughs> the new one is almost like, it's almost like a little baby Milano compared to the old one. Um, it's quite a bit smaller. Um, and the other big difference is the old one had yellow and now we have orange on the new one. Um, not sure why the change was for that. Um, I, maybe it'll be explained in the movie or maybe they just decided to design it different. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so these are the two different Milanos here. And I really want to hear from you guys uh, what you think about both of these and what you think, um, you know, which one is going to be the better version, uh, which one do you, would you rather have? Uh, I know that this one, um, most likely you can probably only get on websites like eBay, maybe Amazon, Bricklink, things like that. Um, this one, like I said, it just came out, so uh, some stores haven't even stocked it yet. I found it at Toys R Us, if anyone's wondering. Um, I also saw that it's listed on uh, the legoshop.com. So if anyone's looking for that, that's where I have seen it and found it. Um, but anyway, so this is the old one, the 2014 version. And I, 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 like I said, I had not looked at this set in so long, I really forgot about a lot of the details on it. And uh, I guess it's, it's actually a lot better than I even remember. Um, now, let's look at the inside because that is very very different from the old one to the new one so the old one you can see if you count the chairs because there's one back here there's one two three and then four the the main seat right here so there there's a lot of space in here technically you could probably fit some more minifigures in there because there is a lot of space this one i think uh it might be a tight fit, but I think you could probably actually fit uh, the entire team, like from the new movie. The, I think there's how many? Eight people on the Guardians of the Galaxy team now? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me in the comments. Um, how many are there? Uh, I'm trying to think of all of them. Of course, there's 
there's Star-Lord, there's Gamora, there's Rocket and Groot, there's Drax, and then we've got the new ones. We have Nebula's been added, um, let's see, Mantis and Yondu. So I'm counting eight. Is anyone counting anything different? Have I forgotten someone? I would hate to have forgotten someone on that team. I think it's so great. Anyway, back to <laughs> the comparison here. Uh, so this is the inside of the old one. Now, let me open the new one. Oh, just pop that off down here. Let me put this back together real quick. Uh, breaking pieces apart here. Um, so on the new one, you still have, technically, you still have room for four. And when I was reviewing this the other day, I was happy about the size of this. And now I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, I was really happy about this the other day. And like I said, I'm, I'm a little disappointed now when you actually compare it to the old one. I mean, just look at the difference in how much space you get in these two. You can still technically fit four minifigures in there, although it's a very tight fit. Um, I showed you guys in the review how uh, you can fit those in there. But it is so much more spacious over here. So awesome. So, um, now, now both of these came with other things in the set. I think, if I remember right, I think this set came with five minifigures. This one came with four plus a baby Groot. Um, and there's there were, let me remember here, um, 200, I think it's 205 more pieces that were in this set, um, along with uh, the rest of what was in the set, not just this, uh, not just the Milano, but the whole set itself had 205 more pieces. And this one came in a $75 set. This one came in a $50 set. Um, so this one technically is a little bit cheaper, but honestly, it kind of looks a little bit cheaper too. Uh, because it is so much smaller um the inside is quite a bit smaller than you get over here um i <laughs> i really liked the new one <laughs> until i got the old one back out and looked at it again so um i'm i'm almost a little bit sad that i even got the old one out because now <laughs> i'm disappointed in what i got but uh let me let me kind of set these down again so i can put this back on here and you know, it just fits on there real nice like that. Um, so also we have quite a bit of difference in the style on the wings here. You can see this one is totally like brick built uh, wings and you can, you know, you can adjust them of course. Um, the old one, however, it was these larger pieces that don't adjust. Well, this one doesn't really adjust much, a little bit. Um, this one adjusts a bit more this one just moves up and down. Um, and then you have this one in the back that you can adjust quite a bit. Uh, but I mean, there's your old wing style. You can adjust those however you want. And they did have quite a bit of stickers on here. You know, each one of these big pieces is a sticker. Um, this sticker just kind of goes to right here. So it's not like the whole piece, just kind of like the, this edge more or less. Um, so there's that. And then over here, out of all of these little winged pieces, um, this is the only little sticker on here. So it's a little bit different. Um, these you can move a little bit more, so I don't really know that you need to necessarily, but there's the difference in the wings. And I'm also not quite sure why this is, but this little piece here was green with a little red circle on the old one, which I can't tell. Yeah, that's a sticker. Um, so they're both stickers. Um, on the new one, it's red with a blue circle. Not sure why that is. If anybody knows, feel free to let me know. Um, now, let's go ahead and turn this around to the back. So you can see the difference in the engines on these two. Now, I do like this design right here. Now, this, this is two sticker pieces, but I think it looks cool. I like the, the look of that. Now, these you can kind of adjust, and I think they're kind of supposed to be down a little bit, um, however you want to, basically. But anyway, um, so there's that, and on the old one, let me pick up like the, it's kind of like the Mama Milano. <laughs> anyway, um, so on the old one, you know, you can adjust these almost all the way around. They get a little hung up right there, but almost all the way around. 
Um, so they're kind of a little bit more detailed there. Um, you do have like this part that um, it's kind of loose, uh, kind of tighten the pieces back up here. You kind of have this part here that kind of helps uh, to stabilize it when you set it down. And you do have something similar to that on the new one. I can <laughs> arrange these without dropping them. And it's that right there. Now, also, let's talk about how well armed each one of these are. So, on the new one, we have the pur little purple stud shooters on the top here. So, we've got those two. And then these red pieces, the red with the purple here, are little bombs that you can drop. And you just press right here to drop those. So, there's the weaponry on the new one. Now, let's look at all the weaponry on the old one. Um, so, there's nothing on the top here, like on the new one. No uh, missile flick fire there. However, now, we do have a little flick fire on each side of what looks like eyes right here. We've got the flick fires on each side there. And I'm actually gonna try and flip this over. We have flick fire right here. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, so, I don't know, they're, they're pretty similar on how much or how well armed they are, it looks to me. Um, you also have these that don't actually shoot or anything, they just look like they do. So they appear to be weapons, more or less. Um, but anyway, uh, so, you know, that's, that's the difference between these. Um, and also, now there is one thing that I do really like about the new one um, over the old one, and that is the fact that it actually says Milano on it. It is a sticker, but I do like that it actually says the name on there. I think that's cool. Um, also, and I almost forgot this, uh, but one thing that's kind of a big deal in the movie is the Awesome Mix. Now, we should be on Awesome Mix 2 in the new movie, um, but let me just show you the difference in how they are displayed in one set to the other. Now, this is the way it's done in the new one. It is a sticker piece on this little slope black piece right there. So that's the new one. Now, let me set that down and lift this off. And I may have a hard time actually showing you this. I don't know how well you can see it down inside there. Now those are printed pieces. You have the printed little tape piece and then above it looks like controls. Uh, but it's kind of got this whole little stereo thing there um, with like little speakers. So let me try and adjust my lights. Maybe that'll help a little bit. No, oh, that one's not working so well. Hang on. We're gonna get this. <laughs> Maybe you can see it a little bit better now. Um, down inside there, a little stereo. I think that's really cool. Um, also, I think, let's see, we can actually lift that up and <laughs> there may be some features on this that I'm forgetting because I really haven't looked at this set in so long. But anyway, that's the difference in the tape. Um, it's very different, uh, <laughs> actually. So I don't know which version you guys like better overall. Uh, I have to say, if I had to pick one of these two, um, I I was so wanting to pick the new one, um, just because it's new. Um, and when I reviewed it, I was really excited about it, and I thought it was awesome. Um, there is a, a kind of a newer piece on here, I like the design for this piece. Just this orange piece. It's got a sticker on each side here, but that's kind of a neat piece. It adds to the design a good bit. I like that. Uh, but anyway, um, overall, I would have to still pick the old one. Um, maybe if they had designed this one the same size, uh, it may have been more of a competition for me personally. I don't know. But let me know in the comments below uh, which one of the two Milanos you like better. Do you like the original 2014 one for the first movie? Or do you like the new 2017 one from the new movie. Let me know in the comments below, and if there's any other kind of uh, comparisons or collections you wanna see, just let me know, and I will see you guys later. Click here to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Or click here to see another one of our videos you might like.